In the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, federal prisons are still having to transfer inmates to different facilities all over the U.S., but that decision is creating major concerns. Union representatives at the federal prison in Aliceville, Alabama, are calling for an inmate movement to stop. Our Quentin Smith speaks with a union rep who says these transfers are putting them at a higher risk to contract the virus. Last week, roughly 40 inmates were transferred to this federal prison facility in Aliceville, Alabama. The Federal Bureau of Prisons say they test all inmates for COVID-19 prior to them being transferred. However, one union rep inside tells me that still does not eliminate his fears that one of those inmates could still potentially bring that fatal virus inside with them, putting everyone at risk. This week we're scheduled to have um, 20 and we have another potential 180 that are scheduled to come into the institution. Terrence Wyndham is a rep with the American Federation of Government Employees Union. He admits due to the rapid spread of the coronavirus, he has some serious concerns about new inmates coming into the Women's Federal Correctional Institution. The biggest concern is that you're going to introduce an inmate that potentially could have some kind of a uh, COVID-19 virus or they could um, be expanding that virus to the inmate population which could in turn expand it to um, the staff. All new inmates will have to be quarantined for 14 days once they arrive at the facility but Wyndham thinks they'll still be at risk. That's why he and state lawmakers have now sent a request to the Bureau of Prisons requesting they suspend all inmate movements until further notice. Just keep all the inmates where they are, um, not have any inmates come into the institution, keep them housed where they are because you know, where we are inside, we know that we don't have any inmates currently um, that have the virus. But if you introduce new inmates in, you don't know what you're introducing into the institution. In an email, the Bureau of Prisons say it is limiting its transfers, but under federal law, cannot suspend all inmate movement. Under the new limitations, the BOP says inmates will be transferred for reasons such as to provide necessary medical or mental health treatment, interstate agreements on detainers, or to manage overcrowding, just to name a few. However, Wyndham says he still disagrees with the reasoning and he'll continue calling for the transfers to come to a halt. I'm hoping that um, as, as this crisis progresses, that they realize the dangers and the uh, and the potential danger that they put the staff as well as um, inmates in and that they will stop it. Um, not sure if they will do it or not, but it's, it's not going to be because he didn't try to advocate for that to happen. According to the Bureau of Prisons, so far, roughly 30 inmates and 30 staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. Reporting live in Dallasville, Alabama, Quentin Smith, WCBI News. To read the Bureau of Prisons full statement on inmate transfers during the virus outbreak, you can visit our website, WCBI.com.